Hello, I'm Shihan Allen Woodman, and welcome to Hoju Jitsu, the art of tying your enemy. This is Samantha, the Hollywood Queen, and today we have some really, really great guests on my show today. Uh, in fact, one in particular who has written many books, traveled all over the world, and has many, many projects, Alan Woodman, right? Is That's that me, right? Alan Woodman. So let's introduce Tree you. Tree person. Yeah. <laughs> Kyotoko in Japanese. Kyotoko. <laughs> Kyotoko. So what, what can you tell us a little bit about Hojo Jutsu? Well, Hojo Jitsu actually, um, some people actually have uh, misrepresented or misunderstood. Hojo Jitsu is not my creation, it's not my art. Okay. Uh, Hojo Jitsu dates back probably around five, six hundred years ago. Okay. It goes back to the samurai period. And what they needed to do was they devised a system that they could learn, study, and practice and use on the battlefield because what they needed to do was they needed to be able to capture the enemy on the battlefield, draw them back to their camp and torture them for all the information they needed. Wow. Which was the most important element in war. Even today, by any standards, by today's military, the most important factor in any war is information. Information. And how do you get that information? You know, today we have drones and satellites and all that other stuff, but, you know, five, six hundred years ago, they, they weren't. They didn't have that. So okay. um, what they did is the samurai would go out in the battlefield, they would choose an opponent, tie that person up, take them back to the camp, and, of course, they'd find out you know, where's their base located? How many soldiers in their camp? Uh, who was their general? Who was their commander? You know, and that would tell them, of course, you know, what they would need to know. So, uh, and they use the art called Hojo Jitsu, which is the art of binding your enemy. Uh, and it's a, it's a phenomenal art. It's actually not an art or system by itself. There's great books here too. Thank you. Uh, the art or the system actually um, is a compartment to traditional Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Okay. So if you stayed in, in a traditional jiu-jitsu school long enough in Japan, you would learn this as, as part of the curriculum. Wow. And yeah, so what I've done is I've just kind of taken that out, just that section out. And people can incorporate it if you do kenpo karate or, or jiu-jitsu or if you do, um, I don't know, if you do a kung fu system or a taekwondo system, it doesn't matter. There's so many people of, that take martial arts of all different yeah, varieties right. now, too. And, and this applies to any of those martial arts because all the physics are the same. You know, the principles are the same. And, and this is how you are able to defend and subdue your assailant or opponent in a matter of four seconds or less. How did you find yourself getting into this originally? Well, a, a, as a kid, actually, it was funny. As a kid, my dad was... Uh, was stationed in Japan when mm -hmm. I was a young kid and and I went over there and I started training in martial arts and uh, if my dad sees us hey dad how you doing um, and uh, uh, so I started there and then I came back to the states and I I owned and operated a couple of martial arts schools okay and then I did some movies and things like that and I think there's some pictures or whatever yeah you have a clip that we have yeah yeah there's right? some there's some photos there's some photos of me and like Arnold Schwarzenegger from when I did Batman 4 or movie uh, Sworn Justice with Cynthia Rothrock Look that at I you. did. And yeah, I did a bunch of movies and you stuff. You have to be walking TV. down the red carpet with me one of these yeah, There you go. See, that would make me happy. Trust <laughs> me. But then, so I did that. And then, and then in around 1998, I, uh, I wasn't really fulfilled or happy with my life. And I just decided I wanted to move back to Japan. So off I went. I moved back to Japan in 1998 and I stayed there. And I was there until the earthquake in 2011 decided Oof. to relocate my apartment for me <laughs> so um Law of attraction right there again yeah so Maybe so it, you know my house collapsed and i picked through whatever i could find and and i came back and I was started over ago. and started over here in the united states so i'm back and i'm back for good well welcome back thank you very much <laughs> last week i was last week i was um uh honored at the uh usa martial arts hall of fame wow as a goodwill ambassador for the hall of fame and you know thanks to uh, dr jim thomas and and if anybody wants to know how to be a part of that organization, that's a great organization, uh, the Alliance and the USA Hall of Fame, uh, contact me. You can contact me at uh, senseiallenwoodman at yahoo.com or reach me on the show or whatever. But or, yeah. So you do the martial arts, you do the acting, you do a variety of things. Yes. And can you tell me more about Sidekick Publications? Sure. Sidekick Publications, I, I started it originally, believe it or not, I started it about... 
Oh, I started Sidekick maybe about 25 years ago as a magazine. Okay. And it was uh, in upstate New York, and it ended up being a regional magazine. Uh, it was uh, distributed through about seven or eight different states. Um, and uh, we did really good, and it ran for about seven years. Uh, and it was all about martial arts, martial artists. Uh, martial arts has always been my passion my whole life. Okay. Um, so, um, but then, you know, I started doing other things when I was here doing movies, uh, you know, in the early 90s and stuff, mid-90s. I was doing movies and TV shows. I even have a comic book. <laughs> what out of them character. is your favorite? All of it. All of it? All of it. What's yeah. your most favorite character that you've ever played? Uh, the Night Watchman. That was a, it was like a children's show, like the Power Rangers that's kind of Batman thing. One yeah, that's Batman right, one, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. It's like a Batman type of character. And I see you as it was Batman. one of my favorite. Yeah, you can see that, right? No <laughs> special talents, right? <laughs> no, but, yeah, you've no, got no. many, many talents, no, apparently. No, no. But yeah, the, uh, it was actually based off of a comic book. Uh, okay. which is uh, still in production, by the way. It's called The Night Watchman Character, and it's based off of that. And that was probably the funnest thing. And I'll be at the San Diego Comic-Con this year promoting the, the new series of comics that they have about, about The Night See, Watchman. if you're going so, to Comic-Con, come there. check I'll them out. I'll be there. So that'd be kind of cool. And then, so that was probably one of my favorite ones. Wonderful. And then, and then when I went back to Japan, I started writing again. I enjoy writing the process of it. So I, I wrote a history book called uh, History of Japanese Martial Arts, okay. um, which is also available. And, and and then I wrote my biography book, and then I started writing more, and then friends contacted me and said, oh, I really wanted a book, can you help me? And, and that's when I started you know, transitioning my life over to the U.S. Okay. And then I started doing other books for other people, and, and it's gone really well. Like social I said, 36 books now and 27 DVDs. So. Well, social networking-wise, how can people find you and, and find out about your books, oh, find out about your I movies, I'm, find I'm out about everywhere. everything that he does? I think if you Google Alan Woodman, um, Magic of the internet. Yeah, right? It's <laughs> digital age, yeah? So uh, you can find out all kinds of stuff. But you, again, go to my website, www.sidekickpublication.com. Okay. You find out more stuff. There's a bunch of free stuff. You can get free magazines on there and articles. But um, but also, just just more, uh, you know, you can contact me through Facebook, Alan Woodman, A-L-L-E-N-W-O-D-M-A-N. That's it, through Facebook. I, I, I've got um, five different pages and about 15,000 friends. So I don't know any of them. Yeah, I know how that goes. Trust <laughs> we have 5,000, and we have a limit of 5,000, but yeah. unfortunately, we don't know who half of you are. Yeah, but, but I appreciate the yeah, I, do. I appreciate everybody. And again, you know, uh, look for our show, Sidekick uh, TV. And Definitely. I'm going to check it out. I, I want to, if I could, I just want to give a shout out again, Quitman, uh, Quitman Embroidery. Uh, you can get Infinities. They do t-shirts and embroidery, and they're actually one of the sponsors for our show. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, We're doing PSA announcements for the Martial Arts History Museum Okay. Uh, on Burbank, right on Magnolia uh, Boulevard, right by Buena Vista. So that's fantastic. Um, next time you're in there, I'll take you over there. It'll be uh, kind of cool. You like that? ASAP. All the history <laughs> is right there. Uh, and then, uh, of course, we, we have other sponsors and people and just, you know, support us and come watch the show. And we have an Indiegogo campaign right now uh, online. So if you go to my Facebook account, hit the Indiegogo, donate. We're raising the funds for the show. We'd love that. So fantastic. And thank you for having me. Thank you very much. Um is there anything else that you want to add in terms of any upcoming projects? I know we covered most yeah. of them, but you, and you, you have a... You're single, ladies. Single. He's single. Single. I was going to ask you, is there a special someone? But mm -hmm. I wasn't too sure. Well, maybe. Well, I don't know. I have to get my crown on <laughs> and come see, see you in Queen, Hollywood. King. That's when it. I bring you on my show. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but thank you very much. I appreciate all the time. And again, www.sidekickpublication.com. Thank you very much. Thanks. And make sure to check out my show on Saturday nights, Living the Dream with the Hollywood Queen. Hey. And I think that's about it. And I just... 